You can tell by noticing my hand kind of looks like a catcher's mitt. That's my left hand. That's my right hand with the veins and the knuckles and all that that you can see. Well, the reason that my left hand looks like a catcher's mitt is because I paired my Gila monsters up earlier today. And once they were in the same enclosure, they attacked each other. I didn't really have time to react and as expensive as they are, I got them apart and in the process got nipped and hoped I didn't get envenomated, but <laughs> as you can tell by my hand, that would be false. I got whacked and it was a nip, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. I'm pretty blessed that he wasn't able or she wasn't able just to hold on and get a real good latch because these guys aren't known for just letting go. Generally, once they grab a hold of something, the next thing to do is find out how to get them off of it because they're like a turtle. <laughs> when they bite down, they don't let go. So... I just got grabbed and immediately let go. And it's been about four hours, three, three and a half hours or so now. The swelling is mainly localized to my hand, a little bit up my forearm where those dots are. But my hand is pretty much as swell as it can. I can't, I mean, I could force it all the way closed if I want to, but I'm afraid that might rip blood vessels apart or anything in the back of the hand where it's swollen. I don't really know anything about um, what additional trauma I could cause by trying to force it to close, if any. But I'm not going to force it to do anything right now because I'm just going to hope that the swelling goes down. I haven't been to the hospital. Um, from what I've read, there's really no point. There's no anti-venom for this. There's... You can get you a massive hospital bill and let them sit there and watch you. But a neurotoxic venom with a really, really low venom yield can cause a uh, large amount of pain. I was blessed in the fact that I either have an extremely low dose or an extremely high pain tolerance because I'm not really in pain. I'm just dealing with it and really the only thing as far as def discomfort goes is the tightness from the swelling just my hands movement is restricted because of the oscillated swelling to my upper part of my hand below the bite the finger didn't really swell up any at all but the hand has just blown up like a balloon I wish I could somehow put both of my hands beside each other and still get a, a them into the video, but I can't um, by myself, so I'm not able to do that. But I mean, it's a fairly noticeable difference. That's my hand relaxed on a non-bed hand. That's the bed hand. And the swelling is, is pretty large. 